Mate of Dublin, Leinster, one of the top club teams in European rugby. May 2012, they secured a record third Euro Club Championship title in four years, the win over local rivals Ulster, in the first final to feature two Irish teams. My co-commentator for this match is former All Black, Justin Marshall. And you couldn't ask for better conditions, could you? It's a scorching... We're all ready to get the first half underway. Kicks off deep. Our forward snaps up the kickoff. Brought down just outside his goal line. They'll need to clear this. Boss picks it out of the back. O'Connor gets us going again from the 22 metre line. Breaks through. Beautiful offload. Keep it going. Matty, still going. That offloading is something we've come to expect. It'll be a try for sure. Look at his run. This is close to the try line here. He's stolen it. Rhino Bristol, lovely tackle. Ulster struggling to clear the ball. Great turnover. Jamie Heaslip picks it up. Surging towards the line now. On his way to the try line. They're over the line. The referee going upstairs to have a look. Madigan lines this one up. It sails towards the posts. And the conversion is successful. What a wide angle to kick from. Really good finishing. O'Connor restarts. Brian O'Driscoll snaps up the kicker. Met by the defence. That turned it over beautifully done. They were banking on getting this back, and now they have. Yeah, totally agree. Ball knocked loose. Yeah, he got away with that one. He dropped it, but it went backwards. Yeah, it's a good chance to score here. Back rower grabs it. Sends a good pass. Here comes the chase. Restart of the 22 gets us back underway. A wayward pass there. And it's been lost. Yes, a bit of a loose ball down there, Nisbo. Heaney picks it out of the back. And it's heading towards touch. Nafiwa runs over the line and into touch. Leinster lead at half time, seven to nothing. Well, such an even contest that first half between these two sides. Pretty good crowd here, a few gaps, but not far from full. Just a bit messy so far, Justin. Leinster leading the second half underway from kickoff, drag down it's a trap, still go just a bit lower on this occasion good strong run bad pass <laughs> good 
good clean line out ball off the top. Absolutely. O'Connor thumped into the ground. And he goes straight through. Boss gets the ball away. O'Driscoll races away. So, tap to come here. So, quick tap taken. Breaks the tackle and pushes on. He got away briefly but was dragged down. Somehow, he's managed to grab that back. Ryan shows good technique in the tackle. Well, the way the game has been going, they'd be pretty happy. Gatebs a drop goal. Ulster of the choice. It'll be a dropout, I suspect. Restart then from the 22. Takes it on the bounce. The front rower seems to be in retreat here. Herring, unable to stop it. That's a good tap. Boss gets it away. Holds advantage. Oh, and it's lost forward. And the referee playing advantage. He just lost the ball in that impact, really. It was good defence on him, though. It all comes down to ball retention, doesn't it? And with the handling errors as high as they Crouch. are, you can see that's just Touch. not happening. Set. Find support. And it's been intercepted. Well, it was a great catch. He's got good hands. Anybody's ball here. Flicks a little one. And he's got some support. Almost got out of the first tackle, but did well. Madigan feeds it off now. He will surely score. And he gets it over for him. Surely is the match winner. He certainly knows how to score the tries, this guy, doesn't he? That is a superb try. The coaches will be pleased with that. Yes, you're absolutely right. <laughs> Conversion made easy. <laughs> Leinster get the win. Leinster, the victors. An excellent contest here. A very competent performance from them, and a decent win. Well, look at those possession stats. One-sided, as you can see. A high number of tackles for them. There'll be a lot of sore bodies in the changing rooms after this one. Leinster, come away the victors here. That's it. See you next time.